was in their uh, eyes. And there was something in their eyes that would say, you know, I know something you don't know, and I wanted to be that kind of performer. I am a man of constant sorrow. I've seen trouble all of my days. I'll say goodbye to Colorado, where I was born and partly raised. playing at some party or something and it was like a whole different guy. You hear those stories about the bluesmen that go out to the crossroads and sell their soul to the devil and come back all of a sudden able to do stuff for Robert Johnson, Tommy Johnson, that whole mythology was, was one of those kind of deals almost. When he left Minneapolis, he was just average. You know, there was five, six other guys doing the same thing. When he came back, he was doing Woody, and he was doing Van Ronk, and he was finger picking. He was playing cross harp, and this is a matter of a couple of months. I mean, this is not like he was gone, you know, a year or anything. He was gone a couple of months, and apparently whatever he got into, he got into so intensely that he was like a real interesting performer. That's when I went to the crossroads and made a, a big deal, you know, like, yeah. One, one night, and then, uh, went back to Minneapolis and I was like, hey, 